I'm Bill Stargrass, and in this episode of Roll Glass, we're doing decomposition reaction. We're doing a, a decomposition reaction. There is a template, a worksheet template for this lab with very detailed instructions, and that link to that to that worksheet is down in the description. What we're going to do is we're going to decompose sodium bicarbonate, and I've already measured out using the, the balance in the weighing boat and all that stuff. I've weighed out 0 0.38 grams of sodium bicarbonate, and I have put it in this test tube, which I'm going to go ahead and clamp it into my apparatus so that I can uh, have my hands free. Alright, so now the, the setup for this is probably the bigger, uh, the biggest challenge of the activity. We're, we're doing the thing where we're going to capture the produced gas in an inverted graduated cylinder. So I have a 100 milliliter graduated cylinder. I have taken off the rubber plastic things and I'm going to fill it with water, except I'm going to leave a little bit of room for air, uh, uh, some measurable amount. So my graduation starts at five. I want to have, you know, at least five milliliters of air in it. So I'm going to play in the water for a moment and try to get that. Uh, it needs to be less, probably less than 15, depending if you have a little bit of over measurement in your... Um, reactant so I'm aiming for about five between five and ten is my goal and that's about eight now when I raise this up I don't want to break the surface of the water with the graduated cylinder I want to make sure that the surface of the the, the mouth of the graduated cylinder stays below the water surface so that I can create this um, column of water all right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add heat to the sodium bicarbonate. That, that is going to cause the sodium bicarbonate to decompose. We don't want to get too hot because then the decomposed sodium bicarbonate will also decompose and create more, uh, more gas. So we wanted, to be, we wanted to get to uh, uh, the decomposition temperatures around 80 degrees Celsius. We'll get a little above that, but we don't want it to like super overheat. So that's going to be one of the considerations. I'm going to take the hose, I'm going to put it into the graduated cylinder. Now, at this point, the hose is below the surface of the water. I'm going to um, make sure that my stopper is, is well you know, uh, stuck in. I'm also wetting it just a little bit so that it'll get a, a really good seal it's fully and firmly installed. I don't want any of the gas to escape outside the, the stopper. We are now ready to begin the experiment almost. We want now, with the system closed, I can raise my tubing such that the mouth of the tube is now above the water level. And at this point, I'm going to read, I'm going to read the graduation and, and, and determine what the initial volume of, of air inside the graduate cylinder is. And so I'm reading that to be seven seven milliliters. I'm reading that to be seven milliliters. Seven milliliters of air. Now I need to light the burner. I'm going to turn the vent on. I'm going to turn the gas on. And I'm going to light the burner. Now we're ready for the reaction to begin. I'm leaving a, a, about 10 centimeters between the flame and the uh, test tube. I, I want that not to go super hot super fast, but I want it to get hot enough to begin the reaction. The first thing it's going to do is the air inside the test tube is going to expand and we're going to begin to see bubbles go through. Those bubbles are going to fill the graduated cylinder and the water level is going to go down, which means that the gas collected, the amount of gas collected is going to go up. Now the first bubbles of gas is just the expanded, the expanded air. But after it reaches um, a hot enough temperature, the sodium bicarbonate is going to begin to decompose. And that decomposition is going to push carbon dioxide out of the sodium bicarbonate and in the form of gas into the graduate cylinder. I'm going to lower the tube. I got it just a little high, so it was actually pressing against the bottom of the graduated cylinder. Now, 
let this cook for a few minutes. In the instructions in the worksheet, um, I said that uh, when it gets to about about 30 milliliters of air, it has gotten hot enough for the reaction to, 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 to be going on, and so we can remove the, the flame. We don't want to push it beyond, we don't want to push it too high of the temperature, because uh, if we do that, it will trigger the secondary reaction. We don't want that to happen. The video after we have uh, the setup, and we're actually collecting the results at this point. So if you're doing this lab virtually, you can begin to record these, uh, these numbers. So we had uh, 0 0.38 grams of the reactant to begin with, and we had an initial, uh, initial volume, I think we said seven, uh, seven milliliters of gas. I'm gonna raise the burner up just a little bit and, and, and heat it, rapidly heat it for just a, a, a couple of seconds to sort of get that uh, reaction temperature up. Produce that carbon dioxide. So we're at about 35 milliliters of gas collected. I'm going to turn off the gas. Now at this point, we need to get the barometric pressure, which I'm going to collect that off of a uh, weather app, and we need to take the temperature of the the, the room temperature, and that is uh, 20, 23 degrees Celsius. So I have to convert that into Kelvin, 23 Celsius, 296, 296. Now this has to cool down in order, after it cools down, as the gas in here cools, it's going to retract gas out of here and, and give us uh, the actual amount of new gas that came in. Uh, the reaction is going to carry on for a, a little while after we move the Bunsen burner. Um, the atmospheric pressure I'm using uh, for the gas law, I'm using um, R of 0 0.082, and uh, that, that goes with atmospheres. Uh, the atmospheric pressure is going to be very close to 1, and uh, we'll convert this, this volume of gas collected, we'll convert that into liters, because we're going to use the liters, Kelvin, atmospheres, constant. So after some time, it has cooled down. You've, you've looked your numbers up. You've gone to your weather app and found the, the barometric pressure. And now well, I have this uh, container of room temperature water. I'm going to just immerse the test tube in there and finish cooling it off to room temperature. And by doing that, um, we're going to accelerate, the, bring, this, uh, bring this process to, a, to an end. So I'm subtracting off my original volume uh, of gas, and that's going to give me the a volume of gas collected. Convert that to liters, and then uh, run that through the PV equals an RT equation to determine the number of moles collected. So it's a, it's a bit of a complicated setup, and it is now, now that we've talked a little more, it's cooled off a little more, we are at... We're exactly 30, 30 milliliters of gas. We're going to call that our collected amount of gas. is our, our, final, our final amount is 30. Subtract off that original. All those numbers are over here or up there or somewhere. We'll put all those numbers in here for you to, to look at, all those different numbers. You can use those numbers to complete the worksheet and, um, and answer the questions that, that follow. That's it. Hopefully this has been a, a useful uh, experience a useful video on decomposition uh, as the sodium bicarbonate got hot the uh, it broke apart and the carbon dioxide was produced that is all for this episode see you in the next one